The backstop pin adds support to the back for free end units. However, it's, it's also an incisal pin if you are missing incisors and you need support up front. So anyway, the, the uh, backstop pin slash incisal pin consists of your main pin, uh, two washers, and a nylon wing nut, and a wrench to help you start uh, threads in the back. So anyway, here's an example of a free end unit. So without the uh, backstop pin, you'll have that bounce, slight bounce in the back. So, and you know, that, uh, that can't be helped, uh, you know, unless you have a metal articulator, uh, any uh, plastic uh, disposable articulator will be prone to having that. So anyway, uh, the way to do this is to, to install this. There are uh, holes in the back of the articulator covered by a membrane. So what we need to do basically is to install it on the top unit. And all what you need to do is just basically push down on that membrane and start. It's a self-tapping design. And this is where you use the, uh, the wrench. Put it through the hole. It gives you the leverage to to start creating the threads in the uh, backstop hole. So anyway, there you go. It starts feeling about, uh, you know, it starts feeling good already there. So don't need that anymore. And um, okay. So basically, we've got that. Now, what you need to do also on the on the opposing side here, on the, well, let me just say the the other side. There is also a membrane there. You need to also uh, get that membrane out of the way. And the reason being is that uh, if you don't get it out of the way, it will create a you won't have solid footing. So just just break it out, and that way, when the backstop pin rests on it, it's it's resting on a solid structure as opposed to resting on on a membrane, which may give you a, a little bit of a bounce, but you don't want that. So anyway, once you've got that, you can feel it, and you've got it right, and you've got that support, well, I'll just push that die out. So, if you got the support there, it's pretty strong. So, once you have that, you need to just add the two washers and the nylon wing nut to lock it in place. Now, remember the backstop pin uh, or the incisal pin, which is the same thing, is, uh, is a reusable accessory so make sure you don't throw it away you can keep reusing that okay so now I just need to add a little more to get it right okay okay that's pretty good so that's basically how you use the uh, backstop pin or incisal pin. Remember, you just move it up front because it's got holes up there too. But obviously, we didn't plan for that here because we didn't need it. So, otherwise, what you would need to do is to make sure that you don't have stone over that membrane. 